Hey guys, and welcome back to a, another video. So in front of me, I have a 2011 MacBook Pro and the battery uh, says replace. Instead of sending this thing off to its grave, uh, I decided to use this as my personal machine for now. The emails, so this thing is perfect, but the battery isn't. So I'm just going to go in here. I've got a new battery on hand. Um, I actually pulled that battery, the new one. Well, the new one uh, out of a 2009, was it not? no, a 2010 MacBook that had a faulty graphics card. Um, and that battery only had about 100 cycles on it, which is crazy for starters uh, because nothing should be dying that soon. Uh, but then again, that's Apple for you. So, um, I've got the battery over here. I'm just going to take this one out. It's going to be a nice short video. So we start by taking the back cover off. Then there's a few screws going down here. Uh, they are tri-ring screws. So you will need a tri-wing screwdriver to get them out. Uh, and there's a screw under this flap here. Once all those screws are out, uh, you're gonna disconnect the battery from the motherboard. So the connector's right here. We will lift up on that. Pry up on that. We'll lift up here. And out it comes. Uh, make sure it's the new battery. Yeah. Or the, or the battery, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, look out for that video. It will be up hopefully sometime next week. Um, you know, it's a good way to reduce your carbon footprint as well, because instead of taking any sort of form of transport that you may usually take to work, you'll be using electricity, which, you know, can be classed as 100% green. I don't believe it fully is, but it's better than petrol and you know all the other nonsense um but anyway not me blabbering on let's get this back cover back on make sure i'm not forgetting any screws to connect the battery would be a good idea wouldn't it so yeah um i'll do at least screws after this video um watch out for that video and thank you very much for watching take care